eczema. My name is Terry Alabada. Today I start the first of what I hope will be a series of on amazing eczema artists. I have been so lucky and blessed to meet so many cool and super talented people with eczema in particularly the Instagram community but also just over social media in general over the past two years since I've become involved and I've been really impressed with the work that I've seen with quite a few of them. So today I'm doing what is sort of like a shout out video and kind of like a I don't know an interview slash review video of one of my favorite eczema artists on Instagram and her name is Naomi Nangolan. I hope I got that correct. Please forgive me if I'm wrong Naomi but her handle on Instagram is Let's Talk Detox and she talks about living healthy, her journey with eczema, other health goals. She's very crafty. She does really cool kind of like DIY repurposing of clothing and accessories and She's an incredible painter as well as a pottery artist. And so I sent her a few questions, so let's get into it. So the first question I asked Naomi was how her eczema started and what her backstory was with eczema. And she said that it first started in her life when she was a three month old baby and it started on her cheeks and it just sort of spread from there. She went through the usual go around that we all do with eczema, at least in the Western world where you go to dermatologists and they give you a lifetime supply prescription of steroid creams or various steroid products that you become addicted to over time because they never really work or cure the root cause of your eczema. And then about a year and a half ago, she was traveling and she met another girl with eczema who had healed the majority of her skin just through diet and lifestyle changes and detoxing and that inspired her to go on her own journey of detoxing. That's how we met on Instagram through our mutual healing journeys and supportive eczema community. The second question I asked her was, how did you get involved in art and what role did art play in your life? And for her, I actually really relate to her story because she said that as a child she was introverted and that art was just a way to express herself and native and I definitely did a lot of that too personally. Now she's a social worker and as an adult she really missed doing those creative things and expressing herself through artwork and the children that she works with through her social work inspired her to return to that creative childlike side of her and reignite her passion for art. She said that sometimes she gets so into it that she'll go late into night until 3 a.m. and just be so inspired and absorbed into her artwork that it will just take over her day but in like a really good meditative way and that's a really good way for her to take her mind off of things that I'm assuming that are stressing her out or to take her mind off her eczema and art can be very transcendent in that way and healing. She encourages people who aren't totally into art to just give it a try because you never know what you might come up with and how it'll be for you so I really appreciate that vote of confidence and it definitely inspires me to, I don't know, do something creative with color and other textures and things that I used to do as a kid as well. The third question I asked is what does art do for you? What do you get out of it? She said that the biggest thing that it really helps her with is uh, channeling certain emotions and to help you release them. For example, when her father passed away, she created a candle holder for him as a place next to his tombstone, and I think that's so symbolic because, oh, you know, creating a mantle or a place for her to, or someone to light a candle for him in honor of his life, and that is so beautiful. So finally, I asked her, how can people contact you if you want to commission her for a piece or purchase something that's already in her collection, which you can check out on her Instagram right here. She says her DM is open to everyone, so you could just direct message her on Instagram and she'll be happy to get back to you. In my experience, she's very responsive, so it's a very reliable way to get a hold of her. So here is some of the artwork that has caught my eye on Instagram that I really, really love from her. The first one is this gorgeous circular painting with the purple sky and the stars and the mountains. And I was just like, wow, like that's so gorgeous and detailed and I, I love the gradation from the purple to the white and the complementary colors of the golden yellow with the warm red violet color and it's just like so gorgeous. I would totally have that hanging in my wall if I wasn't traveling so much I would totally get that piece to put in my bedroom or show off somewhere in my living room in my house where people can see it and enjoy its beauty as well. Here's another really cool painting of hers that has various symbols of heat healing and spirituality, kind of the yogic pose with the chakras aligning, uh, the symbol for I guess like happiness and sadness with the theater and two, uh, like I guess a couple that are connected by music with like musical note heads, the sign of Om uh, for meditation and peace and I'm not 
sure what that chemical bond is, but I'm gonna guess it's something that feels good, maybe serotonin or something like that. The yin-yang symbol for balance. So this is a really cool piece, and I love it's right in front of a tree for growth and groundedness, doing all of these things that together create balance and happiness and a wonderful environment for healing. And here is a really cool piece that I personally love as a solo traveler. Currently, she has just kind of like an RV by a campfire, representing travel and um, the different directions that you can go in and explore in. And I think that travel is a really great teacher and that just because you have eczema doesn't mean you can't travel, though of course there will be limitations depending on you know how open and how uh, reactive your skin is at the time. But with anything, if there's will, there's a way. And uh, this is a really cool piece to remind you to travel and to enjoy the moment, not always be on the go, but just to be able to enjoy the environment around you and, and uh, appreciate the moment. Now here's some of her pottery work and here's a really cool rustic looking, I guess, coffee cup. And it's so beautiful and it looks like it could be large enough for maybe like a small oatmeal meal for like breakfast. And it looks very sturdy and is well formed. That's a, another really cool piece of hers that you can check out. And here's a beautiful collection of some more of her pottery work. I really love those mugs, particularly the ones with the brown uh, paint finishes and some really beautiful bowls. This is actually really nice color combination to have together, like if you were to get this for an entire set. That, that kind of has like a beachy, nautical, rustic, cabiny feel. So those are some more of her pieces. And finally, this is another photo of her bowls in action and, diff and uh, an example of how to use them, which is a great holder for sliced fruit. Honeydew, I believe that is. Since diet and detoxing is a big part of her, that makes sense that she would include a photo like that put in this video. So I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you contact Naomi for some pieces or custom pieces if you want. She is super lovely. Instagram is very inspiring and uplifting. If you are into health, into healing your eczema naturally, and into detoxing and fitness, her account is definitely a great one to follow. So again, here's her Instagram handle and I hope you check her out. Thank you Naomi for being a part of this and being the first amazing eczema artist that I feature on my channel. Hope you continue to do the great work that you do and thank you for being an example of how people with eczema can still be productive, creative, and talented regardless of what we're going through.